Hey, this is Jacob Moreno with Arometer here again. I uh, wanted to make this little video for all you guys that ask uh, how to program a 900M data logger. Well, it's really, really simple, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right now. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to arometer.com. What we want to do is we want to download our water graph software. So once you go to arometer.com, real simple, you just scroll down right here to data, click data, and then the 900M monitor, you're going to click on that. I've got a little bit more. And you'll see here this blue hypertext, this Watergraph 3.4 software. You're going to click on that, run through the series of prompts, and you will download the software. Very, very simple. Once you have the software, we're going to close out of that, you'll have this icon here on your desktop. And I always recommend saving it to your desktop because it's just a lot easier to find. So we have our Watergraph software. We're going to open it up. And the first thing we're going to do once the program's open, we're going to go to select serial port. Now, every 900M data logger, whether it's a cellular or a manual version, comes equipped with a USB cable. You're going to use that USB cable, plug one side into the computer, the other side into your, the board for the 900M. That's how we're going to connect it, and that's how we're going to program it. So once we've done that physical part, we're going to come back to the software here, go to select serial port, hit auto detect, and it will connect your computer to your data logger. We're going to hit OK. Then we're gonna to go to Setup Data Logger, which is the second button from the left right here. And you'll notice down here on the left, you'll see a little bit of thinking. This is just the uh, program itself, the water graph software itself, thinking, let it, do its, uh, let it do its thing, let it run through its prompts and you'll be just fine. Sometimes when you wanna push buttons and you know, kind of impatient, sometimes they can kind of freeze up. So just let it, let it do its thing. So once we open this box, this box is, is the end all, it tells us it tells uh, what we're going to do on the unit we have. So we can select what sensors we want, how often we want it to take a reading. If it's a cellular unit, it already takes one uh, every hour automatically. So that's no big deal. But we'll run through this uh, quickly and show you how to do it from start to finish. So the data logger name, it comes with the serial number of the 900M data logger board uh, in it just kind of as a preset. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and put uh, whatever, you know, Jacob's field. It could be your field two or your field 100 or whatever it is, but or your almond field, whatever. Just go ahead and put a name in there. And when you actually download it, if you have the manual version, if you download it, that's the file name that you'll get once you download it. So just be aware of that. The read interval, like I said, if you have a cellular, it's already programmed to one, uh, one hour. If it's a manual version, um, I would go ahead and change it just to four hours just to get a little bit more data. It will hold about two years worth of data. So you're perfectly fine if you don't download it every week. Uh, but as I always say, I recommend checking these things out as frequently as possible because, hey, these are great tools and they give you a lot of good information. So the default temperature uh, is 75. Let's just go ahead and leave that. There's no need to change that. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of going to get two birds with one stone here. And I'm showing you how to program it. But at the same time, uh, in a previous video, I showed you where to put the sensors and where the correct locations were. So we'll go ahead and do that here, too. So like I said, two birds with one stone. The first sensor... Uh, it's always the temperature, the soil temperature sensor, if you are using it. Um, if you're not using it, well, just put a watermark there and, and go, go down the line. But if you're using a soil temperature sensor, it always needs to go in port eight. The watermarks, uh, I'm going to do a traditional NRCS setup right here. So the, the sensor port number one is your temperature sensor. We're going to do well, six watermark sensors here. And then on the last one, we're going to go ahead and do a pressure switch. Now you'll notice here, I'm going to kind of change it here too. Um, I'm going to put a rain gauge here in port seven. You'll notice that these sensors, you can select from a number of them. So the switch is your irrigation switch. The temperature, you can do a Fahrenheit or Celsius, either one, just, but it's going to be the same thing. The watermark sensor, of course. The volts are if you're using a traditional aerometer and you've actually had a, a transducer connected to it to get that data electronically from a true tensiometer. Uh, the 4 to 20 milliamp is if, you, if you're using our uh, RSU current uh, uh, tensiometer or the different version. And then the rain gauge, of course, is a rain gauge. So again, very simple to do. Once I've figured out my sensor configuration, I come over here and I name them. We'll do something simple. That's going to be my soil temperature sensor. So I obviously put in soil. Watermark, one foot, uh, two foot, and three foot. And like for the switch, I also like to put the word irrigate. You can do whatever you want. It's, you know, it's perfectly, perfectly fine to do whatever you want. But just a quick example of selecting the sensors over here and then naming them 
over here. So once we're done with that, we're gonna to go to send setup to data logger. And it will ask you basically, if there's data on this logger, it's going to delete it because we're resetting it. No problem, let's go ahead and hit okay. And again, everything's doing all of its thinking over here in the left corner, starting data logger and we should get that prompt. There we go. Done sending setup to watermark monitor. So now we're done. So whether we have the cellular version or we have the manual version, we've just programmed the unit. We've told what sensor on it. Now it's time to go put it out in the field and get that valuable data that we've been wanting so much. Thank you and have a great day.